Hello and welcome to another Creator Catch-Up for Lawless. I'm Stacey Whittle and I'm talking with the lovely Matt Soft today, all the way in the Americas. <laughs> hello, hello Matt. there, hello to you. <laughs> and um, you've had quite a busy year work-wise, I think, haven't you? Do you want to tell us a little bit about what you've been up to? Um, okay, yeah, it's been uh, the most hectic year of my life so far, really. <laughs> um, <laughs> well, okay. I I, um, I met somebody online and uh, we we fell in love and I decided on a bit of a crazy whim to fly over to the US and we got married. Uh, this was this was not, um, February 2020. So yeah, we had a wonderful time and then I, I was there for two weeks and then I flew home and then the pandemic hit and we were like, what? Because we you know we were making plans like maybe I, I could relocate over there because Michelle had the kid. Um, it wasn't really feasible for her to come to England. So all those plans just got immediately shelved. And uh, and yeah, we were stuck 8,000 miles apart or 8,000 kilometers apart. Um, so in that time, I got on with work and we, there's the dog, apologies. <laughs> we wrote a book together as well. We, we wrote a novel, which uh, is from an idea I had with some friends about 20 years ago, which never really got off the ground, but I, I always remembered, I thought, thought it was a cool idea, so I never quite let go of it. But I was, I was never clever enough to plot out a whole novel by myself and to be a writer. So I thought, well, hang on a minute, we're stuck all this distance apart. There's something we could do together. We could write a book. And uh, we did, we did it in three months. And we've just kickstarted that. So um, yeah, it should be, it should be going out to people at uh, the end of July, we think. So right. yeah, so that was that was a fantastic thing to do. That was, it's it's basically um, you describe it as if H.P. Lovecraft had written Twin Peaks. So it's like a murder mystery with a bit of a cult goings on, um, small town America, that kind of thing, set in the 1930s, out in the backwoods. In fact, it's called Last Road to the Backwoods. So. So yeah, so that took up a good chunk of last year and this year with the Kickstarter. Um, other than that, yeah, I've just been doing lots of colouring. That's pretty much still a, a day job, the full-time job. Um, I recently done the colour on my first Anderson, George Anderson, which was great to do. Oh, fantastic. Who's, who was who the artist? Yeah, it's Paul Davidson. Oh, Paul local Davidson. lad, isn't he? Yeah, George. Yes. Uh, yes. <laughs> right. Oh, is he? I didn't. So um, I think so. I, think, I might be yeah, wrong. It's for, um, oh, okay. It's for the regene. And um, the previous ones were coloured by Len, Len O'Grady, but I guess he wasn't available this time. So I've stood in to colour this one. So that, that was cool. Uh, I'm on with a, a huge graphic novel for freaking publisher, um, a 200 page. World War II book about the, the U.S. Navy. Um, if the the publisher is actual sort of publishing wing of the U.S. Naval Institute, so I paid the checks come from the U.S. Naval Institute. It's all very oh, wow, wow, you know, yeah. <laughs> um, so accuracy is like so important. Um, it's very very involved. You know, like guys the stripes and the badges and all the. Uh, like the cash schemes on the boats have to be just like the, the so well researched and everything has to be so perfect, which I get totally, obviously. So that's that's a big job. I'm I'm about I'm just up to about page 130 of that at the moment. So should be finished in the next couple of months, I think. Um, so you're doing yeah, and then after that, sorry. I was gonna say Go we should I should explain to anybody who's listening, we've got a there's a time difference and there's obviously a little bit of delay when we're chatting because of the a million miles apart that we are um <laughs> so you, you're doing so you've done some writing you've done some coloring and you're doing some artwork as well so you've got your fingers in as many pies as possible yeah. excuse that <clears throat> terrible phrase that's um that's what i still think of myself as an artist primarily but that's the one thing that's gone on the back burner yeah past year really. but 
I really need to carve some time to get back into that. Um, part of the, the Kickstarter that we've, we've done, there's a lot of reward sketches to do. There's like 30 or 40 of them today. Um, I've set up my drawing board over in the corner. I don't know if you can see it behind me. It's currently just got Star Wars figures all over it, but <laughs> it will be used as a drawing board again very soon. <laughs> so that's a good reason to, to dust off the pencils. Yeah. Um, yeah, I'm looking forward to that. Fantastic. So I know you've been doing colouring for um, 2000 AD. Are you doing work for anybody else as well? Um, well, there's this this American publisher I mentioned called they called. De Reckoning. Uh, they've had a few graphic novels out already. Um, people like Garth Ennis and um, uh, I think PJ Holden has done something for them. Um, so there's that. Then after I finish that, I'm back to um, a UK title called Noir. I don't know if you're aware of that. Oh, what it's was that? You broke up a little bit. Oh, for it's Accent and yeah. Oh, yes. Uh -huh. yeah. So the, I've been colouring the entire run for the last few years. Um, we're up to, well, the first the first collected tray just came out. So that collects the first four books. And Sorry, then, there's um, a tough yeah, there's, interruption. There's, <laughs> there's like four volumes planned. So uh, I'm about halfway through volume two of that. So... Yeah, so it's great to have all this, this work lined up. I feel very, very fortunate indeed to be able to say I'm booked up ready for the rest of the year. Oh, <laughs> that's much. fantastic. Um, yeah, yeah, very, very fortunate. Oh, yeah, I've been working on um, a title for Rogue Comics as well, you know, in mm. Ireland. Um, all right. It's called, it's called By Proxy, which is a, um, like a, a sort of hitman espionage title. Uh, so I'm the colorist on that. Done. How many of I think I've colored the first three or four issues of that, but but they haven't come out. Uh, issue one was delayed with the pandemic and everything, so I don't know what the publishing schedule is for that. But six issues planned, so I'll be cracking on with that later in the year as well. So yeah, and somehow nice the time to, yeah, yeah, it is. Somehow finding the time to learn how to draw again. You know, and you, you say that to people and they think you, you're being, you're exaggerating, but I really need to learn how to draw again. <laughs> Not long. <laughs> need to seriously knock the rust off. It'll be okay. It'll be good. <laughs> well, I've got to ask, because, I mean, it's, I know you've just, you've just finished the novel, but have you got mm -hmm. any more work planned with Michelle as well? Because I, it's just such the most wonderful, like, you couldn't have written it love story and then and then and then you're working on the book together. It's just it's just been wonderful to watch as well and, and oh, you, but, thank um, you. It's lovely that um MJ Soft and MJ Soft are gonna have this <laughs> this <laughs> yes. brilliant this book. So have you got anything else up your sleeves for the future? Yeah, yeah she, Michelle's already working on the, the sequel. Um in fact was it a stretch goal? It might have been a stretch goal. We decided to include the first chapter of the sequel uh, at the end of this book. It was like, you know, sort of wet people's appetites for what's coming next. Um, I've also for a prequel as well. Um, so, yeah, we, 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 the Kickstarter was, was so exciting. It's the first one either of us had, had ever done. And like people were saying, it, it takes over your life. We were like, yeah, yeah. I'm sure it does, but it does take over your life. <laughs> Those 30 days, you're like, oh, it's you can't focus on anything else. So yeah, we're both quite heavily invested in the world and would like to keep doing stuff with it. Um yeah, I it, originally it was gonna be a graphic novel, but um Michelle is a, a poet first and foremost, but she writes prose too. And she just started she just sat down one day when we were separate and uh out chapters just like that and they were fabulous they were exactly what how i'd always envisioned it the tone was just perfect so yeah we, we can't leave it alone we'll, we'll be we'll be doing more definitely oh, that's so fantastic <laughs> so, it's so fantastic because i thought the idea <laughs> of working with my husband thinks is already just want to punch him in the nose like a shark so <laughs> that <laughs> Hey, we, we were separated, but we did that, and we live together now, so we'll see how it goes. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully she can't hear me from the bedroom. Right. Look, there's, there's quite a few, though, um, 
couples that write together. Um, Dan Abnett writes with um, his missus, doesn't he? And um, oh, right. Liam amazing. Moore and John Rapian, of course. John, and, yeah. Yeah, mm. so yeah. I'm looking forward to seeing it. Yeah. So can before we go and we'll wrap up, because I know you've got to get to work, do you want to, again, tell us um, the book and where people can find it? And uh, OK. Um, well, uh, let's see. Well, we've got the pre-orders through the Kickstarter, but we are going to have, we're doing a print run of about 300 to start. We will have some copies left. They're going to be available on Michelle's website. Um, which, oh God, mine's gone completely blank. Um, <laughs> I can't actually remember what it's called. It's Michelle Joy Soaf. Anyway, if you if you search for Michelle Joy Soaf, you should be able to find her blog. She she has a, a WordPress, I believe it is, that she sells things through. But but they won't be up until um, it's probably going to be August. We've got to take care obviously of all the Kickstarter orders first, and then oh. what we have left will be available for general sale. So. So yeah, Brilliant. last road to the backwards is one more last time. That's um, our focus so far. <laughs> oh, it's so fantastic. Well, I know how busy you are and I'm just really grateful you took out a bit of time and it's just lovely to see you oh, um, and yeah, see you so too. happy. So thank you for coming and talking to us yeah. and right, uh, yeah. best okay. of luck with it. And thank let you. us know how it goes. I will, yeah. Thanks so much, Stacey. <laughs> thank you. All right. <laughs>